Hi everyone, welcome to the Find Your Mini-Me Food Plan. Uh, the software is ran by a company called Real Life Health Management and you should have all received a link that takes you right to this web page. It also should have included your username and password which you're going to enter right here. Okay. If the link doesn't work for some reason, just type in reallifehealth.com up top here. It should take you to the very same page. Okay. What we're going to do today is basically go through how to set up your profile, how to enter your body composition, how to work with your nutrition plan to get you guys started. Um, play with this a lot. It should help a lot to get you acclimated with software, which will make all of this much easier for you. Okay. So what we're going to do first is just type your username and password here. And once you've done that, should take you to your home page. Okay. So what you're going to do from this point here, your home page, um, as you'll see, there's nothing really on your home page. Okay. Nutritional information, goals, um, summary, nothing is done because we haven't filled it out yet. If you're doing a competition, this is what you'll do within, it's kind of like a little competition within a competition. Um, basically, you'll get points for doing each of these things every day. Um, your goal is to get a possible 35 out of 42 points for the week if you want to stay in the close running to finish in first, second, or third. Uh, most of you right now, you won't be filling this out. Um, if you are in a competition, then obviously this is where you're going to want to fill this out. Okay, But for right now, we're just concerned with first, your body composition. Okay. To get to that point, you're going to have to fill out a few username information steps here. A couple uh, things to know on this page. Um, one is the measurement preference, okay, US or metric, you know, whichever you prefer. And then also if you're pregnant or nursing, you're going to want to click this button here. Basically what that's going to do is just going to add 400 calories to your daily diet um, and your nutrition plan. Okay. You click that, go to save, and it'll take you to the agreement page. Okay, you can read through this if you'd like. Otherwise, just click I agree. And that will take you to your body composition page. Okay. Now, most times if you're in a competition or if you're working with us personally in person, this is not going to be available to you. We are going to fill all of this out for you. Okay. This is only going to be available to you if you are an online strictly client, meaning that you're going to have to take your own measurements and record them here. Okay. What you're going to need for that is a scale and a tape measure. The tape measure is going to be used to measure all these areas right here. Okay, You have to do your shoulders, your navel, umbilicus, your waist, and your hips. Uh, your bicep, forearm, thigh, and calf are optional. Okay, If you don't know how to measure them, you can just read the description here. It's going to show you where to measure with the arrows around this way. Okay, Click out of that. What we're going to do is just put all the information you've conducted in these uh, blanks right here. Okay, So what we'll do is fill out Debbie's information. We made Debbie rather on the heavy side so that we can show you guys exactly how to work with everything. Okay. Now again, remember these are optional. Uh, obviously, this is where you're going to put your neck, chest, bicep, forearm, etc. Okay. Once you're done with all your measurements, click, click calculate, and what that will do is spit out your body composition, your lean mass, and fat mass. Okay. Keep in mind the body fat percentages. All of these here are not that accurate. Um, they provide a good insight as far as what your body fat is, but more importantly, they are very, very consistent. Okay. Meaning that the more you reassess yourself, you're going to see hopefully a drop in body fat percentage if you're following your food plan correctly um, and exercising enough. And also it's going to tell you how many inches you've lost in each of these measurements here. Okay. So once you're done with all of this, click save and that will take you to the next page. Next page is going to be where you fill out your goals. Okay. Depending on how big you are, it's obviously going to depend on how much you're allowed to you uh, lose. If you're not that big, you're not going to have this many options. Debbie is rather large. She's got 37% body fat. Okay, So she has a lot of different areas to choose from as far as what her goal is. Um, we're going to choose a goal for her to lose 12% body fat, which will have her at about 25%. Okay, Just click there. And then you'll scroll down here. 
and this is where you're going to determine how aggressive you're going to be with your goal. Okay, so you can choose to lose half a pound up to two pounds a week, or if you're someone who's using this for just maintenance and you just want to make your nutrition plan a little bit more simple for yourself, um, just simply click maintenance or build lean mass. You can also choose to uh, gain weight um, by clicking additional uh, half pound or a pound. Most of you, I uh, believe, will be doing this section up here because you're using the find your mini me food plan. So that means you're going to find a smaller version of yourself, hopefully. Um, so what we'll do with Debbie here is make her an aggressive goal of two pounds per week. And once you do that, this will basically spit out a timeline as far as where you are now and how long it's going to take you to get to a goal of 175 um, as far as months. Okay. So once you're done with this page, click save and it'll take you to the next page where you're going to be able to click and select your food preferences. Okay. So on this page here, you're going to click anything you don't like to eat or anything you are allergic to. You can't eat if you're a vegetarian. Obviously, this, uh, this is where you can click you know, meats, things like that. Uh, keep in mind, whatever you click on this page, it's going to exclude that from all of the recipes that are going to be offered to you. Okay, so um, for this page, for this person, Debbie, uh, what we'll do with her, no fast foods and um, oils, no oils, uh, well, everything else is fine. Okay, click save. And this is going to take you to your front page of your nutritional plan. Oh, nope, sorry. First, you have to do this. Okay, so this is going to spit out all of the options you have as far as breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Um, and it's also going to give you the ability to either uh, click exclude from being suggested or save as a favorite. You know, obviously, then the uh, menu item will come up more often. Okay, so you can play around with that here. You can also play around with uh, prep time, cook time, and ingredients list. Okay, you have a choice of three to fifteen or no max for the ingredients, and then five up to sixty or no max for cook and prep time. Okay, so play around with this area if you want. Otherwise, just click next step. Once you click next step, this is where you're going to be able to actually plan your food plan. Okay. Uh, for some reason, it says cardio and strength warnings that you haven't completed that yet. Just click bypass. There should be a button down here. Otherwise, what you're going to do is come down here and just click mini me week. And what that's going to do is input into the system a sample week um, that's already been kind of pre-developed uh, for you. And then click just my week. This will take a little bit of time just because it's basically going to print out um, all of your options, ingredients, uh, meals, calories, all of that type of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you're here on this home page, you'll notice you have all the days up here, and you have your target calories right here and your actual calories down here. Okay. So right now we're on Sunday, as you see, and it's got all of these options here as far as what you're going to be eating, okay? Um, what you want to focus on is really pay attention to the fats and proteins. We want those levels to be higher. Keeping in mind that your target calories are 12, uh, 1,200 a day because hopefully you're going to be working out. You're going to want to have those a little bit higher. Otherwise, your body's not going to have enough nutrients to uh, produce you know, enough energy to go throughout your day. Um, and what you want to focus on at that point is getting that a little bit higher and do that through more fats and more protein, not more carbs. Okay. Here, um, 75 grams of carbs is quite, uh, it's, it's not a lot to be honest with you. Um, don't let the number of carbs get much higher than, you know, a little over a hundred, 150 uh, at the absolute most, I would say probably stick around the hundreds. Um, keeping in mind again, that in order to get your carb or your calories higher, do that through fats and proteins, okay? So what you'll see is, um, all, again, all of these options here. If for some reason you don't want something, so let's say instead of oatmeal with milk and strawberries, you want something else. Click Mini Me Week, and you have all of these extra um, options as far as what you can have for breakfast, okay? So let's say instead of oatmeal, you want to have scrambled eggs and blueberries. Sounds better to me personally. 
So once you click that, you'll see that um, scrambled eggs and blueberries has been replaced with the oatmeal. Also, as you notice here, your protein intake has just increased and your carb intake has dropped, okay? So we're still below our calories quite a bit. Um, we'd wanna add a little bit more and you can do that again by playing with these different options here, okay? So it's gonna be important for you guys to get acclimated with the system so that you're easily able to just kind of work your way through this every week and plan out a good, um, a good nutrition plan for yourself, okay? So once you've done that, say you've created Sunday and you like Sunday, okay, and you want to create and copy this day to Monday, just click copy day, it'll ask you if you want to do that, say yes. And then now you'll see we're on Monday and it's the exact same thing that we've just done, okay. You can click individual days to change individual days, otherwise, um, you know, again, play around with this, keeping in mind your target and your actual, okay. Again, to, just as a reminder, Calories are going to be a little bit higher than 1,200 um, and only going to be higher in the means of fats and protein, okay? Carbs can be higher than 75, um, but again, not much higher than the low 100s, okay? Uh, so once you're done with this, go to the next step. And that will pretty much finish the portion as far as the nutritional setup. So going to show you a few other things here you know there's videos here if you want to click on some videos to help acclimate you with the system more uh, if you just click continue it takes you back to your dashboard okay if you go back to your member home page you'll see now you have your body composition your weight uh, current weight your goal weight how many pounds per week you're going to lose and then at the bottom here it has your current uh, food plan for the week if you see this and say, eh, you know what, I don't want to have barbecue chicken two days in a row, um, just click this here, and it'll take you right back to this page Thursday. You can then go ahead and click the menu in your week, um, choose something different for your food, okay? Once you have that all done, a cool thing you can do now is go to grocery list. Okay, what this is going to do is basically make an entire list of all the foods you're going to need for the entire week, okay, Sunday through Saturday, with all the list of ingredients and how much of each ingredient, okay. It's broken the uh, foods down in categories here, it's easily for you to see. And then what you can also do, so if you're going to do one big shop on Sunday, obviously, you know, you leave all these checked. If you just want to shop for Wednesday, you can uncheck everything except for Wednesday, and it'll be all the foods and the amount of food you need for just Wednesday. Okay, so depending on how you want to do your shopping, um, the grocery list will acclimate to whatever you want to do. If you're someone who wants to plan ahead of time and you have all of your weeks planned out for the entire month, all you're going to do here is just go to the next date, click on this date, and then basically it'll print out that grocery list for that week. So you can then basically every Sunday know that I already have my food plan set up. I'm just going to grab my list and go to the grocery store, okay? Or for some reason, um, you remembered, oh, I just need to shop for Wednesday, and that was last week. Go back to that week, and it'll bring up the grocery list there. Okay, so pretty neat feature here. Saves a lot of time, uh, a lot of energy in the grocery store, you know, very quick, hopefully. You know, don't have to just stroll down aisles aimlessly looking for what you want to eat. This makes it very easy for you. Okay, so what you're going to do from this page again, um, if you go back to your member homepage, Okay, keep, um, what you can also do here is if you go to, say, Sunday of next week, you'll notice there's nothing there. That's because in this case, we haven't planned anything for this week. So that's telling you you need to go back and do that. Okay, so we'll go back to this week. You can then go to progress tracking. Okay, if you're in a competition, you can click here and it's going to tell you how you're ranking as far as, um, you know, where you rank in weight loss, body fat, percentage loss. Uh, measurements, all that type of stuff. It'll also tell you your points and the kind of competition within a competition with the, um, you know, the, the seven points here on your homepage. Okay, so that is actual, uh, actually a mini competition and there were prizes handed out to first, second, and third contestants here. Again, this is only if you're doing competitions and as you see, you can just click right here and go to view my rank. Okay, so let's go back to progress tracking. What you can do here, you can track your measurements. Obviously, we've only inputted one uh, measurement so far, so there's nothing to track here. But as you input more 
in the body composition page. Each date will show up here and you'll be able to track your weight, your measurements, your body fat percentage, all that, okay? Nutritional tracking. What you can do here is see how um, consistent you are with your target and your actual, okay? Um, you know, so it basically, basically break down you know, calories, fat, uh, carbs, protein, all that type of stuff, okay? I believe that will do it. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions regarding anything on this, um, please feel free to email myself or Harold and we'll be happy to help you. Thing you can also do is really neat is if you notice here, there's a little help icon. Um, that help icon is on every page and it's also specific to every page you're on. So basically, if you have a question with something on this page and click help, it's only going to spit out answers related to the page you're on. Okay, so that's pretty cool too. Um, if you go back, whoop, go to your dashboard. Dashboard, here we go. Um, you'll also be able to be uh, access this from your phone. So this is what it's going to look like if you have, you know, iPhone, Android, whatever. Uh, you'll be able to click on all of that through your phone, which is kind of neat. So you maybe don't even have to print out your grocery list. You can just bring it with you. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit up myself or Harold. Other than that, I wish you all the best of luck, and I will talk to you soon.